friends, we've been working on this tricky sight word, R. A-R-E is R. This is not a word we can, we can sound out. We just have to know how to read and write this word. If you haven't cut your letters out from the bottom of the page, you may want to press pause, cut them out, and come back and join me. And remember, if I ever go too quickly, you can always press pause and come back and join me. Here is the word R in the sentence. The person's talking on the phone. It says, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? That's a nice thing to ask somebody. That's the sentence we're going to be building down here. But first, we need to write our word. Let's spell it and say the word. A R E R. Let's do it again. A R E R. One more time. A R E R. Now we have to do it on our own. When you make your A, do a magic C, turn it into an A. When you do your R, start at the middle line, come down and then up. And when you do your E, go across and around for the word R. Let's leave a space in between our words and write the word R again. A R E R. Leave your space and let's write the word R again. A R E R. I think we can write it one more time. Leave a space and write the word R. A R E R. Alrighty, friends, we've written the word R seven times. That's a lot. Now we're going to need to build the word R in this sentence. Right now the sentence says, hello, how you? It's missing the word R. Hello, how are you? What letter comes first? A, that's right. Make sure your A is going the right way. What's next? R, make sure your R is going the right way. And the last letter is letter E. Hello, how are you? This one says, hello, how you? We need the word R again, don't we? Let's make our A, and then our R, and then our E for the word R. Hello, how are you? Now you have to write your own sentence using the word. You can copy my sentence, or you can think of something on your own. I think since they're asking, hello, how are you? I'm going to say, we are happy. I'm going to do those three words. We are happy. You don't have to do this sentence. You can watch me do mine. I'm going to start with my first word, we. And because it's my first word, I need a capital letter to start my sentence. So I will have a capital W and then my lowercase e. We, then I'll leave my space, my sight word R. A, R, E. We are, what did I say? We are what? We are happy. Ooh, that has two syllables. Happy, two syllables. Oh, I don't know. Do you know what you do when you have multiple syllables, more than one syllable? Do it one syllable at a time. The first syllable is hap. We can do that. <sighs> App. That's pretty easy. <sighs> App. Okay, I'm gonna leave a space and do my sounds for hap. Ah, <sighs> We are hap. Now, if you did just this on your own, I'd be super impressed. But since I'm helping you, I'm going to tell you the next syllable. Hap P. It sounds like just the letter P, doesn't it? Hap P. But it's, we're going to make our P. But every syllable has a vowel. 
It sounds like it's going to be an E, doesn't it? Now, I have told you the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, but sometimes we let the letter Y be a vowel. And in this situation, in this syllable, the Y is the vowel. And when we have words that end with the E sound with more than one syllable, like happy, sunny, mommy, daddy, funny, it actually sounds like an E at the end, but it's a Y. Isn't that silly? Oh, silly is another one that has a Y, silly at the end. So if you put an E, I would be so happy because you're listening to your sounds. But because we're doing this together, I'm telling you that it's a Y. That's not something that you need to know yet, but if you learn it before you need to know it, that's okay too. Alrighty, we are happy. Oh, I did forget my period. And if I'm really, really happy, I can do an exclamation point. I don't have to though. Hello, how are you? We are happy. I am happy that we did such a good job on this activity. And I would like to see you read this to us. So be sure to record yourself reading and then show us when you're done. Can't wait to see your great activity on Seesaw. <laughs>